located nearly 500 kilometers to the southwest of Chennai, Tirupur is India's largest knitwear hub. The cluster pretty much came up on its own in what was once an agricultural town. The farmers there started with small textile units during the 1970s. The coming years saw a web of small to mid-sized units crop up in this little Tamil Nadu town, with none of the fabrication, processing and stitching work being done in any one single place. It became a network of firms that relied on job working, contracting and sourcing arrangements. Today, Tirupur exports cotton and cotton blend t-shirts, dresses, sweatshirts and other knitted clothes to the US, Europe, Australia and Canada. What is the place like? The odour of chemicals and dyes used in fabrics greets you as you enter Tirupur. And at least one person from almost every family is connected to its textile and garment industry. Tirupur is home to 10,000 garment manufacturing hubs, employing over 600,000 workers who make hosiery, knitwear, casual wear and sportswear. There are various estimates that highlight the hub's importance. Tirupur contributed 54.2% of India's textile exports in FY22. According to Tirupur Exporters Association President Raja M. Shanmugham, out of India's total FY22 exports of around $480 billion, Tirupur alone accounted for a 1.07% share. The numbers explain why the government is keen on setting up 75 Tirupur-like textile hubs in different parts of the country. Shanmugham believes that as the first step towards this goal, the government must bridge the disconnect between the industry and decision makers. He also says that structural changes are needed to give a boost to what he calls happening locations, such as Tirupur for knitwear, Karur for home textiles, Ichal Karanji and Bhilwara for woven fabrics and Bhadohi and Kashmir for carpets. Shanmugam says that greater representation is needed because the industry is largely made up of micro, small and medium units and also because it would enable fast policy interventions, which is an area where competitor Bangladesh has been more agile than India. Uh, sir, actually, the, uh, this textile ministry is having almost uh, 11 uh, export promotion councils in working. But unfortunately, uh, it is being witnessed that we have been cons consecutively relegated to sixth position in the global competition because of their poor performance only. And these platforms are acting as a lobbying platform for the vested interest to grow who got occupied to that uh, particular platform years together or decades together. So why I, my request is that uh, a happening center is uh, need to be connected to the policy makers desk uh, on day to day basis for which creation of grow boards on the happening center. For example, uh, knitwear means Tirupur, home textile means Karo. The product boards uh, could be mandated to act as a, a interfacing body between the happening center and the policy makers. The other one is they can document the case studies uh, of that happening center, which would help to replicate the successful formula elsewhere in the country in a very successful manner. The interest in Tirupur comes at a time when the prices of cotton and yarn have gone up, forcing factories there to work at reduced capacity, leaving wholesale shops with hardly any takers for clothes. According to industry data from a previous Business Standard report, yarn prices have increased by 112% from June 2021 to June 2022. According to the Tirupur Exporters Association, the price of cotton per candy, that is 356 kg, has increased from 37,000 rupees in June 2020 to 97,500 rupees at the beginning of June 2022. Thus, Tirupur's wholesale market is seeing a dip of 30% in sales. Over the last few years, the government has also rolled out export boosting schemes such as rebate of state and central taxes and levies on export of garments and made-ups and remissions of duties and taxes on exported products. The government had last year rolled out a PLI scheme to expand the man-made fabrics and technical textile segments value chain. The government is also in the process of devising the second edition of the textile sector PLI scheme with a focus on the apparel segment. 
The success of these initiatives is critical because the textiles industry directly employs 45 million people and accounts for 100 million jobs in allied industries. But will the government be able to bridge the gap between the small units of Tirupur and the corridors of power to achieve success? If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. सब अच्छी दिख रही हैं यार कौन सी खरीदूं ये तो वही बात हुई 4000 शेयर्स लिस्टेड है कौन सा लूं वो तो सबसे आसान है तुझे 5 पैसा नहीं पता शह अब तो सबको पता है 5 पैसा पर है 4000 स्टॉक्स की रिसर्च टेक्निकल टूल्स और इन्वेस्टमेंट आइडियाज डाउनलोड 5 पैसा नाउ अब तो सबको पता है इन्वेस्टिंग मेड इजी एंड रिवॉर्डिंग विद 5 पैसा इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली बिफोर इ